Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, I made a Spider-Man web shooter from the movie Spider-Man Homecoming. And this video just explains how I built it and how I put it together. I really wanted to make this a functional web shooter that actually shoots something out um, instead of just a costume prop. It's really pretty simple and if you guys follow along, you could make one of your own. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I used SolidWorks to 3D model this web shooter and I modeled it into three pieces, which was the web cartridge, the main body, and the trigger piece. As you can see here, it is a very simple print with very minimal support material. The next thing you wanna do is to take off all of that excess support material. Some pieces come off easily, some pieces you may need a pair of pliers to kind of rip apart, but this main chunk in the middle is really the worst of the support material, so once you have that out, you should be good to go. Next, you want to drop a bit of super glue in this little hole here, and we are going to drop a magnet in there. And that magnet is to hold in the web cartridge. So once you have that magnet in there, you're going to put a bit of super glue into the web cartridge hole. Next thing you want to do is place a magnet on the magnet that you already installed. And then now you want to fit in the web cartridge and let that dry. So here is another 3D printed piece, which is the dart piece. You want to put a bit of super glue on this end, add a magnet to it. And then I just use a small clamp here to hold that in place while it's drying. You want to you want to file down this little edge right there. That's going to help some of the super glue bite down a little better. So you add a little bit of super glue, and this is where we add a spring. I will put a link to this spring down in the description below. So this part here is a little tricky. This is where you're gonna set the distance of your trigger. So you wanna kind of push in your dart and kind of see where the trigger fits best. Once you find that spot, you're gonna just draw a line with a Sharpie so you know where to glue that trigger in. So put in some super glue, fit in your trigger based on where you drew your line and just let that dry. So this next part is just going to be gluing our web string to the other side of the magnet and that's what's going to stick to the dart. Since I didn't have any black 3D printing filament, I just used a brush-on acrylic black paint to cover the web shooter. Next, I just cut out a piece of foam in the shape of a circle. And then you want to cut a little slit into this very carefully. Make sure you do not cut yourself. And this piece is going to slide right over that trigger piece. And to make this fit around my wrist, I just cut out two black strips of foam, glued some Velcro onto it. And now I have a wearable web shooter. So here is how you put the web string into the cartridge. I just rolled it around my fingers. You could do it any other way you really want. And I take that roll, I put it in the web cartridge and make sure the magnet is sitting at the top there. Then you want to stick in your dart and make sure it snaps into place.
Then you install your web cartridge and the two magnets should come together. And once you pull the trigger, the dart should shoot out and pull out the string with it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.